Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of EVA enhancements being brought to you by forum user Sean McDougal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is some of the features that, of course, the mod maker, myself, and many people within the Kerbal Space Program community have seen as missing features from the standard EVA experience, which is something that's always kind of saddened me in the game. I mean, for so long in the development cycle now, EVA seems to have been put on the back burner. We get all sorts of lovely new parts for rockets and planes, and don't get me wrong, we all love those things. They're glorious. But sometimes it's nice to get out of our rockets and planes and, you know, just putter about an EVA. And it's been kind of disappointing that it seems to be just so lacking in features. And, well, that's where Sean McDougal here comes in with the EVA Enhancement Mod to try and bring in some of those features that we've all been craving. So, since that means uh, actually going on EVA, we don't need to look at any parts today. So, I have gone ahead and put a two-stage lander on the moon, of course, using Hyper Edit for <laughs> simplicity's sake. So, let us just go out here and grab good old Jebediah, as I feel he'll probably be the best to show off EVA, because, well, who doesn't like playing? playing around with Jebediah, so let's just get him out of the ship, and first thing you'll notice, we're on EVA, and we got a freaking nav ball. Lovely. It's one thing that a lot of people have pointed out for ages now, it seems kind of strange that the nav ball isn't visible for EVA, and, well, yeah, that is strange, especially if you're trying to do, like, a long-distance EVA, which some people do enjoy doing. It, it would be very handy to have this nav ball here because, well, it's, of course, got a compass on it so you know your direction. It does have, like, your speed, etc., which are always good things to know. And now with this nav ball being on EVA, it's actually been customized a bit for this mod so that different bits and bombs of the nav ball here light up in different ways uh, to mean different things for EVA over your normal course of ship usage, which we'll go over bit by bit as we go over all the features. Now, first thing I do want to go over is, of course, jetpack controls, as that is probably the most used thing on EVAs out there. So let us just hit R to start it up, and you'll notice that the RCS icon has come on, and also our throttle has gone all the way up to 100%. I'll go over why that's significant in a moment, but first, the actual controlling of our Kerbal in the jetpack mode. You know, we've got the basic simple controls of, you know, you got your shift to go up, control to go down, as long as you're using the standard key bindings, and then WASD to move forward, max side to side, etc. And the most annoying thing always was if you wanted to pitch or roll your Kerbal. What you ended up having to do is clicking and holding and dragging your mouse around to pitch roll, etc., and it's kind of annoying and horribly unintuitive. I mean, you're already using the keys to control your movement, so who in the world, if they weren't shown this, who would actually think to themselves, oh yeah, I need to pitch down. Well, let's click and drag up to pitch down. No, that's crazy, honestly. I don't understand why the developers thought that that was a good idea. And, well, you no longer have to deal with that, as you can now use keys. Now, currently, the key bindings for this are, if we actually get up in the air a bit, we can pitch down with two, we can pitch up with, oh god, I need a, cr a crash land here for a moment, we can pitch up with X, which I'll get up here for a momentarily and show off, so let's just jump and do a backflip. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, a little bit more. Let's land it. Oh, we didn't land it. Well, kind of. And we can roll left by using the Z key on the keyboard. Let's try and stick this landing. Oh, so close. And we can roll to the right with C. Oh, no, I did X by accident. Hold on, hold on. Let's try that again and actually do C properly. So jump and C for us to spin round and round and round. I'll never land those darn things. But yeah, so that gives us a lot more control over our pitches and rolls, and it's so much more convenient than having to click and drag from side to side, up and down. Again, I don't know why the developers ever thought that that was a good idea. That's 
It's not intuitive. It's not convenient. Keys. Keys work quite well, especially since you're already using them to control the rest of your EVA movement. So that is quite convenient, quite handy, and... You're not stuck with just those keys that I mentioned. If we hit our little uh, Kerbal icon here, we get the EVA Enhancement Settings menu, where you can see Pitch Down, Pitch Up, Roll Left, and Roll Right all have buttons which you can rebind. So you can change these to whatever your heart desires, whatever you feel personally to you is the best, best way of controlling this. And that, that is just lovely. Another thing about the you know, the click and drag, that's that's all you have to deal with. Uh, that's all you have to go with, rather. Whereas this, you can change these keys to whatever you want. And now that we're here on the settings menu, it's time to talk about that uh, throttle that I mentioned before. As you'll notice, we have this default jetpack power. Now this goes across the board for all of your Kerbals that you're currently working with. When they get out and bring out their jetpack, they will currently have their jetpack power be set to 1%. 100%. You can turn that down so their jetpacks aren't quite as strong, say to maybe around 50%, or even keep it off entirely, or anywhere in between. Whatever your heart desires, you can set their jetpack power too. Now, that's for the default power for anyone pulling out their jetpack. Jebediah here already has his jetpack out, and so, well, he can control it individually here on him. Because this isn't going to affect him because he's already got it out and moving around with it before I change this. But we can change it here as well. And of course, you can do it on an individual Kerbal by Kerbal basis. You can set the baseline of power that you want them all roughly to use and then adjust it to your heart's desire. And as you can see, the throttle down here is moving as we move this jetpack power up and down. And now the cool thing about this is it, it's not just turning the jetpack power up and down, making you move more or less with your key movements. It's also taking into account how much EVA propellant it's using in the process. So the lower the jetpack power, the less fuel it's going to use to actually get you to move, which is very cool. I do like that as a feature. And it's, it's quite convenient because, well, say if you're going a, a long distance, you don't want to use so much power, but you don't care much about your speed. So maybe set it down to 50% to sort of get yourself a bit further going. Or, you know, give yourself an initial boost up really high and then go for the distance on a lower power setting, etc. It's quite cool, quite convenient, and not the only way to control your jetpack power here. Now, one of the fun things whenever you're controlling rockets is you do have the ability to hit the caps lock key, again, if you're on default keys, to turn on a fine-tuned control mode for your actual control of the rocket or the plane. Now, you can do the same thing with your Kerbals. If I hit caps lock, you'll see our throttle went all the way down to 10%, and that is for precision control. And once you hit caps lock again, it'll go back up to whatever you have that Kerbal's defaulted jetpack power set to be. So if we have it at 100% and hit caps lock, it'll go down to 10 and then right back up once we turn it off. And this is a really cool feature because, oh my God, if you've ever tried to grab a thin little ladder while floating around a space station, you know exactly what I'm talking about, how much of a pain it can be when at 100% you just want to move slightly to the right and you just tap the D key here, hold on, let me get back up in the air, and just tapping the D key and look how far we went just from a simple tap. Now if we have caps lock on, well, we're going to go a lot. Oh god, oh god, we also can't stay up in the air at 10%, but we can. <laughs> Once again, tap the D key and we barely move. So it gives you that fine-tuned control that really helps you control your Kerbal just how you want to, either by making him go really far or barely any distance at all with your jetpack thrust. And it's very convenient and it, it's just a way of giving you personally more control over how your Kerbal moves around. And that is a glorious thing. Now, the last feature that we have here is, of course, in regards to the SAS icon that we have. So if we don't have SAS on and we try and jump and move around and move the... Uh, camera around, we still continue to go forward because we're not actually turning with the camera. But if you would like to turn with the camera, you can hit T to turn on SAS 
And now, if we jump up into the air, you'll notice he turns to the direction that I am pointing with the camera. It's quite convenient. Now, you can still do it the default Kerbal way. If we turn off SAS, you can, of course, hit spacebar and it reorients your Kerbal in the direction of the camera. But with this, with the SAS on, it's quite convenient because now, especially if you're doing a long distance jetpack flight, you can more easily control where your Kerbal is pointing just by going in the direction of the camera. It's just a method of convenience. And of course, if say you want the camera to stay in just the right spot and so that you can do some precision controls, you can of course turn it off and you're good to go. And it's, it's just, again, another way of letting you choose how you want to control your Kerbal, either with a locked camera position or, well, not locked camera position, but locked movement in relation to the camera or have your movement actually correspond to the direction you're pointing. Uh, either way you want to go, you can turn that on and off to your heart's content, and it is just convenient. Now, of course, it only matters when you are flying with a jetpack, whether SAS is on or off while you're walking around. It is still the default move with the camera, so it's quite easy and convenient, and it switches back and forth automatically. But, of course, when we are flying now, we can either do it or not have that activated, whichever you desire. It's just a wonderful wonderful little feature and i i just i love having it it's very convenient just like everything in this eva enhancement mod i am just in love with it we have the nav ball we have the ability to actually get some extra feedback from the nav ball with our thrust whether our jetpacks on or off whether we have the camera movement on or off or what our throttle is etc we now have control over the throttle either on a kerbal by kerbal basis or of course, by all Kerbal bases here overall. And of course, we can rebind our keys. It's great. It takes care of a vast majority of the issues that I personally have with EVA control. And it's, it's just glorious. I see myself constantly having this mod installed and of course, hoping and praying that they add this into the base game at some point. That would be lovely to have this all in as stock. But, you know, oh well, until that time, we do have the lovely Sean McDougal who has put together this mod for us so we can enjoy it. And that just makes me happy. So, yes, I hope you all have enjoyed this uh, video today. And, of course, if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description. And I hope you do give it a try and enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, if you have any fun suggestions for mods for me to do in the future, I would love to hear them. I've been getting a lot of good suggestions from you guys recently. And uh, I do apologize if I can't get to all of them, of course. I only have so many uh, videos a week to do for these Kerbal Space Program mods. And when uh, some of you each uh, per person suggests like five mods it's it's gonna take a bit but i'll try to get to as many of those as possible uh but yes i hope you have enjoyed this video today and of course that you come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one now let's fly fly away jebediah fly into the night sky ah good times later folks <laughs>